Welcome back to POV Pottery. Today we're going to be talking about tar paper templates and I'm going to show you a couple of tar paper templates that you can use. Um, so let's get started. All right, so a tar paper template is made out of um, tar paper, uh, which in America is called also called roofing felt. And this is the uh, thinner weight tar paper. It comes in a couple different thicknesses. I like the thinner one. Um, it's a little bit easier to use and they come in large rolls that you can buy at a hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and I don't know, I think it's about $30 a roll, I wanna say, I can't remember. I just buy one huge roll and it, it lasts several, several years. And the reason is because the tar paper, the tar is impregnated into the paper. And once you make a template, you can use these for, for many, many years. This tar paper template I've probably used for over 10 years. Um, it's just, it works great. Um, so what you do is you find a shape. Uh, in this case, it was a Starbucks cup that I cut off the bottom and then I cut the seam and I traced it onto, this, onto the tar paper. And this is how you can make a truncated cone out of clay okay but of course you can also make just a normal cylinder okay like so or you can make very co more complex shapes this uh is a tar paper template that i made it kind of looks like a clover and when you fold it up fold up the edges you have a box and the box can look like it's like the the edges are are rounded a little bit and um, it, it it has a voluminous pillow like um, appearance and then what you would do is if this was made out of clay you can cut the lid out and uh, put a bottom on okay but of course that is not all look at this guy this is a tar paper template that um, I cut a number of darts into. And when you roll it up and you fold all of these corners in, you can make this, the body of this teapot, okay? Which has uh, five darts. And I put a handle on it and a spout and a lid with a lid gallery. Um, so tar paper is super versatile. Here's a spout. The spout is in the shape of a whale tail. Put that on the slab and then you can roll up your clay and look, you've got a spout when you fold it in half. But today, we're gonna to start at the, at the very beginning, which is the basic shape. Um, let's start with a cylinder. Could I do both? Cylinder and truncated cone? Okay, I could do both. Why not? Let's, let's try both, since I can fit it. So you're gonna place your um, tar paper template on the clay, and use your needle tool just to cut trace and cut around your template cool any scraps I'm just gonna set this to the side because we can use those scraps for our, um, for the floor of our cups and for the handles of our cups. So let's take a look at how thick that wall is. And it looks a little on the thick side to me. So I am going to re-roll the slabs and re-cut them out, but I'll do that off camera in another video. Next video will be about constructing uh, the mug. 